Today we will be packaging up 100 phone grips. In one of my previous vlogs you would have seen me unbox the phone grips when they arrived. Nice and easy. I'm gonna show you again and I'm also gonna show you some of the backing cards I already have made up. So this is how the foam grips got delivered. So they all came in these boxes and then they all have these individual cellophane bags that they came in. And to save costs, I could decide to send out just the plain cellophane bag with the foam grip in it. But I decided I wanted to make it a little bit more special and I was trying to figure out how I could do this. One thing I thought about is like pin backing cards where you have like a little mini card Card, and then the pin will be in that card. So I thought maybe we could do something similar with the phone grips. And that's when I started to think about how I could make the backing card but with a little hole in it so that I could push the phone grip through that hole. So I made it this size and then I also cut into the edges here and here. And then that just kind of like opens up a little bit more to be pushed through, but it keeps it nice and secure. So I'm just gonna show you exactly the design and I made this design in Procreate. And then I did a rough outline line of what I thought the phone grip hole was going to be and I erased that from the background. I made it so that I could just add clipping masks on there and change around the design if I wanted to so I could have the three different designs with the same size hole and have the same kind of like layout and everything but I could change it up as I wanted to. Then I put my design into Photoshop and that is where I put the backing as like an image in the background and then I added the font in a different layer and I did a stroke effect on the the titles and then once that was all done I put it into my Cricut program where I printed it off onto my archival art paper and then I set it up to cut on the Cricut. This is a stack of ones that I've already done so today in the beginning we're going to make a few more of these up for the moon charm phone grip and for the seashell phone grip because I think we may have enough of these. I got four different designs made up so I have 50 of the crescent moons but two different design variations like slight color variations and then I got 25 of the butterfly and 25 of the seashell. Now let's make up the rest of the phone grips. So like I said before, I have these backing cards made up on matte archival paper. My printer is an Epson printer, so I use the Epson matte archival paper and that prints really vibrantly for me. With each phone grip, I made sure to give it a little polish to make sure the outside was nice and shiny and looked good for the customer. After that, I push it through the hole in the card and you wanna make sure that you're pushing the grip fully through. A couple of times I made the mistake of not pushing it all the way through and it got caught between the protective peeling cover and the glue which resulted in it being like a bit sticky inside the bag which is not really ideal and not really what you want for your customer to open. These bags that I use and all of the bags in my shop are all compostable biodegradable bags. That to me was really important not to send cellophane out to people and to make sure I'm sending out stuff that isn't going to harm the environment. Overall, these phone grips and the backing cards were one of my most challenging products yet to make. I also have run into a couple of issues that resulted basically from me not researching enough beforehand. I didn't actually realize that phone grips can be quite tricky because the pop socket phone grips are actually patented and trademarked. So putting them into my shop was kind of risky to be honest because that way pop socket could make a copyright claim and then I could potentially end up losing my shop. So for now I've made sure to take them off of my Etsy shop but they are still available through me. These compostable bags that I'm using are actually A6 sized. 
This means that I can use one bag for a phone grip. With the backing cards, I managed to get four onto one page and then I measured it out so that the backing card would slide into the compostable bag comfortably. There was a bit of trial and error to begin with. At first, I made the backing cards a little bit too tall, so I had to edit them and make sure they were a bit shorter. But what you can do is you can measure out the width of your bag that you're using, and then you can take off maybe five millimeters each side. And then this should allow you to slide the backing card into the bag nicely. You don't want it to be too loose in the bag, but you also really don't want it to be too snug and to make it a bit difficult for the customer to take out and to make it difficult for you to even put it in there in the first place. It was kind of depressing spending so much time designing these phone grips because they were not very easy to design and then designing the backing card and then spending all this time prepping all the phone grips ready for the shop update to then end up realizing that actually I can't actually sell them in my store. But I'm still really happy that I did it and I'm still really happy that I've made them. Luckily, I am still selling them through myself on my Instagram account. So if you are interested in one of them, then you can contact me through there. It's really sad because I envisioned making so many different types of phone grips. I really wanted to make like plushy phone grips as well. But sadly, it's not really something that I'm able to do right now if I want to keep my shop in good standing. One thing I did think about though is that I could maybe make some if I decide to be brave one day and go to conventions, there I would be able to sell them. Here are all the phone grips I've made up. I was a bit stuck to be honest on how I was going to store these, but recently I ordered these little mini pink crates from Kidly and the phone grips fit so snugly in there. Although I was left over with quite a few phone grips that I had to store somewhere else, so I decided to store them in with my pendulums. It was pretty tricky to get them all to fit in properly, to be honest. And then after all of that, in the end, I actually had to put some more leftover phone grips into this storage box. I would really love to know which phone grip was your favorite, which backing card design you liked the most, and which grip design you liked the most. I hope this tutorial video was helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!